Now, it's been about a little more than two months since the Taliban stormed to power in Afghanistan after the Americans beat a pretty hasty and a humiliating retreat. But there have been a spate of attacks in the country, and this has, of course, raised the question, can Afghanistan guarantee, can Taliban guarantee security in Afghanistan? Now, in just the last two weeks, there have been several blasts that have been reported in Kabul, especially during the time of the Friday prayers. The attacks have predominantly targeted Shiite mosques, especially at a time when the mosques are filled with people who come to offer their prayers. But even before that, there have been a string of attacks. So let's take you through some of the attacks that have taken place in Afghanistan since the Taliban has been in charge. Now, on the 26th of August, there was an attack at the Kabul airport. 180 people were killed, including American troops. Now, on the 18th of September, four explosions targeted Taliban patrol vehicles in the Nangarhar province, and seven people were killed. On the 3rd of October, there was a blast outside of an Eidgah mosque in Kabul, and several people were killed in that incident, and 20 others were injured. And then on the 8th and the 15th of October, there were attacks that were reported to the Shiite mosques in Kunduz and Kandahar, and several people were also killed in these suicide bombings. Now, the group behind these attacks is the ISIS Khorasan. The ISIS Khorasan has waged what is being described as a small but intense insurgency in Afghanistan against the Taliban. These are the same tactics that the Taliban used against the American forces, and the ISIS Khorasan is now using these very tactics against the Taliban. The Taliban, remember, has battled the ISIS since the year 2014-2015. The ISIS affiliate has claimed responsibility for most of the recent attacks. So now the Taliban is cracking down on this group. They're monitoring phone calls and also emails. They're cracking down on ISIS Khorasan hideouts and capturing anyone who could be a potential suspect. Reports also suggest that this is now a full-blown operation against the group. We told you about this earlier when Vyond's Anas Malik had spoken with the Taliban's interior ministry spokesperson and he had asked Sirajuddin Haqqani whether there's been a directive that's been given to act against the ISIS Khorasan and this is what the Taliban official had said back then. Afghanistan and the world has not heard from the Minister of, of Interior, uh, Mr. Sirajuddin Haqqani, uh, on the issue of ISK and other terror-linked groups. Uh, what do you think, uh, do you not think it is a problem because it's not coming public? What are his instructions would you like to disclose with regards to these groups, these sterling groups such as ISK and others? Uh, uh, it looks like the Taliban is, of course, putting all those plans into action. The group has also has its own reasons to go after the ISIS Khorasan group, and it may even help the Taliban rally international support including from the United States, and it may hasten the process of international recognition for the new regime in Kabul. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.